once you download Chicago House Mod, you're going to want to go to your downloads folder. And there you're going to find the Chicago House Mod dot zip. That is the compressed file. And so what you want to do is decompress that. And you do that by simply double clicking that file. And this will expose a new folder that will have the actual contents in it. So we're going to want to skip the first two folders and go straight to the Max for Alive device folder or M4L device. And in it, you'll find the Chicago House Mod.amxd. You're going to want to double click that. Now, if Ableton is open, a MIDI track would have been created with the device already in it. Chicago House Mod does not actually have any drum sounds in it. It simply generates drum patterns. So you're going to actually want to put a drum rack afterwards. So I did a search for the 808 kit, which is my preferred kit for testing the device out. So I'm going to double click on that and it will automatically populate right after Chicago House Mod. So the first things first, this is basically a four um, module modular uh, drum machine. So we have the kick module here, which we can activate or deactivate right up here. We've got the snare, we've got the, the hi-hats and the percussion. Going to activate these one at a time. Let's start with the kick. We're going to press the play button and if you choose pattern one you will see that well you will hear uh, a kick pattern a four by four house pattern. If you keep sliding the knob up you're going to hear different patterns being played. You can do the same with the snare activate it play different patterns on down the line. Here's the hi-hats. And then last, excuse me. And then last, we have the percussions. So with these patterns, you have an amazing amount of different spontaneous combinations that you can come up with. You could also randomize these with this pattern randomize button when things get boring. Kind of a wild card. And you could always return to the basic pattern combinations that are most familiar to you. You can change the swing factor for each one of these instruments with this slider here. There's also a slider for the shift. The velocity high and the velocity low controls how each hit is going to respond to the velocity differences. You can randomize the pattern swing, the shift, velo and the velocity. Now, I tend to stay away from the randomized note as well as the note sliders here because I don't want to change the notes that are being triggered right here. As you can see, here it's telling you that C1 is being triggered for the kick. And I certainly do not want another note uh, interfering with them. So let's undo that. So what makes uh, Instant House um, become Chicago House Mod? A couple of things. Um, I've been using this uh, machine for a couple of years and there are a couple of things that I wanted to incorporate for my own personal uh, workflow. And so um, the first thing I wanted to do is to be able to edit the uh, actual notes. And so we created editor windows for each one of these. Here's the kick. You can open them up separately and you can rearrange them as you see fit. Here's the hi-hat and 
last is the percussion. So each module gets its own editor, which allows you to input notes or take notes away. And not taking away from its amazing um, capabilities as a, a spontaneous instrument, you can always return to the preset patterns or create your own from scratch. And again, you can return to the original patterns. So you can also MIDI map these guys by opening up the MIDI map window, which is a separate editor. And each one of these has the MIDI map window that pertains to it. And what you're going to want to do is enter MIDI map mode, command M or control M, depending on whether you're on a, you're on a PC or a Mac. And you can actually map each one of these guys to your controller. So at this moment, I have a um, MIDI fighter 3D, and I'm going to map this guy right here. I'm going to map the first the kick. This is how you map this particular controller. But each controller is slightly different, so you're going to consult your manual for that. So we are mapping we are mapping the DJ Tech Tools MIDI Fighter 3D. So we exit MIDI mode and we should have control over that. We can also use the lemur template for the same purpose. We all we have to do is map these and um, we can have the same effect. Now, we're gonna be stuck with a mess of windows. I hated that, so we created the O button, and with that, you can close all of the editor windows and open them. Actually, that doesn't work for the MIDI editor windows, but you're not gonna have that open all the time anyway, so it just works for these. So there, you can open them all, and hide them at the same time. So that concludes the basics of how we work with Chicago House Mod. Hopefully we'll get to hear some new tracks that uh, you guys make with it. Hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching.